as you mentioned, could it just simply be an issue of mistaken identity? As far as the prosecutors are concerned in this case, they believe they have Medani Mered. Now, he is supposed to be a ruthless human trafficker, uh, ran a global network worth millions of dollars of bringing uh, migrants across to Europe from Libya using that deadly sea route. Uh, and they believe that they've got their man and that they're asking that he uh, serve a 14-year jail term and pay 50,000 euros in a fine. Uh, they believe they got the man when he was picked up in an operation in Sudan. Now, the defendant, for his part, however, says that you've got the wrong man. I'm Medani Bere, uh, a poor refugee from Eritrea who just happened to be in a cafe in Sudan when he was snatched up in this international police operation. Now, there have been, uh, they brought forward witnesses, uh, victims of the actual uh, human trafficker, saying that this is not the man. Uh, there have been a DNA test put forward to say that they've got the wrong guy. And uh, the media, we've seen documentaries as well as uh, news reports saying that, look, this is definitely not the man at the center of this human trafficking ring. So uh, today we do expect uh, a, a verdict, at least the, to bring an end to this entire case, uh, to find out whether indeed uh, they are going to prosecute this man or is he going to be set free. Well, I have to say there has been limited coverage here in Italy. It's been followed locally by the Sicilian media, the media in Sicily, in Palermo, uh, where the case is taking place, but not so much uh, nationally. And, and it's interesting to note that simply because migration and the issue of the migrants traveling across uh, to come into Europe, of course, is a big issue here in Italy. Uh, you have uh, the far right uh, party, the League Party, and Matteo Salvini, the Deputy Prime Minister, uh, wanted to clamp down on this issue. We have seen the numbers drop compared to back in 2016 when this individual was actually snatched up in this operation, an operation which, by the way, did involve as well uh, the British National Crime Agency. So really an international operation that saw him being brought to an Italian jail. Now, he's been in an Italian jail now for three years already. So we'll have to see whether his sentence continues or, as I said, uh, will he be found to actually not be that human trafficker, Medani Merrick.